We're in a situation of real urgency. There's two things that I would point to at the moment. One is that climate change is happening. The other thing that is also very predictable and is happening also is world population growth. There is going to be, in 13 or 14 years time, a further billion people. What we need to be is in some form of safe space for the, for the world. Where we are at the moment is not safe space. And the problem we're in is that where we're heading on the current trajectory is also not safe space. If we just ask about the, the greenhouse emissions that come from an increased agriculture to meet that billion extra people, that will exacerbate climate change in a very significant way. So one of the focus uh, ideas of the Commission, which I think is really important, is that as we do that, we've got to be thinking about some form of sustainable um, intensification of agriculture, which means both that it is sustainable in the sort of ordinary ways that you don't, leading to land degradation, not leading to problems of, of uh, lack of water or drought and so on, but also that somehow that the agriculture that we develop is climate smart agriculture, which is the jargon that has been used recently, but agriculture that produces less greenhouse gases per unit of uh, production. There's a need to adapt agricultural practice to meet climate change, you know, problems of changes in rainfall patterns, problems to do with degradation of particular habitats as you get salinity come in with rising sea levels or indeed just storm surges. So there's an, an adaptation of agricultural practice which will be different in different geographical regions but that needs to be addressed. Ideal would be an agriculture which would actually see an agricultural practice that would actually sequester um, greenhouse gases and that would be that would be ultimately attractive and I think there's a lot of science and technology that can actually go into developing that and there's a lot of know-how and patterns of, of um, for example agroforestry which could be extended much more widely. There's a big difference between waste that occurs in the developing world where most of the waste occurs in a sense prior to harvest either through pests and disease or poor storage or whatever poor transport in the developed world, it tends to be post-purchase, but both of them come up with have very similar amounts of food wasted. Something of the order of 30% is wasted um, and therefore not used for human consumption in the developing world, and 30, something of the same amount, 30% or so, is actually thrown away by consumers in the developed world who buy the food and then throw it away. Actually, storage and transport in the developing world and essentially the infrastructure is again something where relatively straightforward interventions could sig significantly reduce waste. You can't think about agriculture without thinking about climate change. These things are intimately related. And these issues are, are not going to go away. They've got to be addressed. So that's the urgency and I think that's the urgency that the Commission tried to bring into its report and the summary for policy makers that was produced just prior to the meeting in Durban I think encapsulates a number of recommendations which point to that urgency.